You're never too old to serve God. And in fact, from the Christian way of life, there's no retirement. Hello, Father James Kubicki here. And I thought of that because St. Polycarp, whom we honor today, was 86 years old when he was martyred for the faith. A couple months back, I got a letter from someone who complained about my use of the word elderly. She said I should refer to her and to older people as seniors. I guess the point is that the word senior has a connotation of someone with experience. And that's certainly what the church thinks. Just listen to what Pope John Paul wrote in a letter that he addressed to people that he called elderly. He wrote, Honoring older people involves a threefold duty, welcoming them, helping them, and making good use of their qualities. In many places, this happens almost spontaneously as a result of long-standing custom. Elsewhere, and especially in the more economically advanced nations, there needs to be a reversal of the current trend to ensure that elderly people can grow old with dignity without having to fear that they will end up no longer counting for anything. There must be a growing conviction that a fully human civilization shows respect and love for the elderly so that despite their diminishing strength, they feel a vital part of society. While speaking of older people, I would also say a word to the young to invite them to remain close to the elderly. Older people can give you much more than you can imagine. The book of Sirach offers this advice. Attend the meetings with older people. Is there one who is wise? Spend time with him, for wisdom is becoming to the elderly. <laughs>